Introducing the all-new Longines Legend Diver with a gorgeous desert sand gradient or fume dial. It's a looker for sure. The blue gradient used to be my favorite until I saw this thing. Wow, huge fan of it. Man, this is the color. This is the color. It somehow feels a little bit more vintage, more authentic. Remember, this Legend Diver is a reissue of Longines second diver, the legendary 7042 1961 compressor case. This one is more of a compressor style case, but not all super compressors had two crowns back in the day. Longines first ever dive watch from the 50s was called the Longines Nautilus Skin Diver T910, reference 6921, and that one had a single crown at three o'clock with the crosshatch pattern, which back then wasn't just for fashion as it is today. It represented compressor technology being used. Last year, Longines reissued their skin diver, the Nautilus, their first ever, and it's a gorgeous beauty as well. But I think the people were correct. Back in the 60s, the Nautilus was extremely rare, under 600 units produced. It was not popular. The 7042 compressor was a fan favorite. And why wouldn't it be? Long, elegant, graceful case, completely high polished, twin crown. The top crown controls the inner rotating bezel and the bottom crown, the time and the date. But is this the diver that you should have in your collection? Coming in at a price of 2400 USD. Okay, that seems like a lot. But remember, Longines is a luxury brand founded in 1832 with a ton of world firsts and contributions to horology. This proud brand, in my opinion, is priced fairly. But if you need a discount code, email me down below. Thanks to Kavar Jewelers. The watch has two crosshatch pattern crowns, both coming in at five millimeters, giving the watch 300 meters of water resistance. However, this one does not have any super compressor technology in that case back. Speaking of the case back, you can see the legendary diver with the harpoon. He originated on the Nautilus case back, but of course he was also on the 7042. Now let's do the measurement. I got 36 millimeters in diameter, thickness of 12 even, including that gorgeous top hat sapphire. We have no drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 44.8. Excellent dimensions here. The sapphire comes in at 32.7 millimeters in diameter. Okay, that's a large crystal. The inner rotating bezel and smaller dial shrinks the watch visually and the high polished lugs kind of disappear and also shrinks the watch visually. So even though we have a huge crystal, I'm going to say it wears like a true 36 with a little bit less presence than I would like. The strap is a beautiful beige canvas and on the inside we have calf skin. It should be very comfortable and I love the keeper. This vintage style keeper is amazing with the winged hourglass logo. I was shopping around for this style keeper from Seiko because that's the one they used to use back in the day for my vintage Grand Seiko, and man, they are expensive. So very happy to see the vintage buckle on this watch. Now the hands, completely high polish and flat, no dimension. We got loom on the arrow tip of that hour hand and throughout the baton minute hand. No loom on the seconds hand. The dial has the date window in black at three o'clock. The original had no date. I wish this was a no date. And we have Longines automatic and Swiss made printed on the dial. There are tiny loom pips behind the printed baton hour markers and in front of the Arabics 12, six and nine. The weight is 64 grams. You will forget this is on your wrist. Because Longines is luxury, let's for fun when we do the loom shot, battle it against another entry level luxury watch the Tudor Black Bay 58. <laughs> and the Legend Diver, even though it's 300 meters, it's more of a desk diver. The 36 mil Legend Diver is powered by a different movement than the 42. This one has the L592 COSC certified, five-year warranty, silicone balance spring, 
28.8 VPH, 45 hours of power reserve, 25 joules hack hand wind automatic. And wow, look at the numbers, 300 amplitude, almost no error and four seconds a day. Oh, it just went to one. Okay. Okay, we are gonna do 12 down to see how this watch will actually perform when you wear it. Amplitude took a big hit, 251. Beat error increased by 0.2. And look at the rate, 17, 12, 11. Man, so this movement is like a 28, 24, but the diameter, it's much smaller to fit in the 36 mil case. And I believe it's the first time we had it on the channel. Let's do eight rounds here. So we got 11, 11, 8, 8, 10, and the eighth and final round plus 10. Okay. And guys, if you're still here, do me a favor and like the video and maybe check out some of the videos on the right of your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.